and obviously reading you know reading the angler's mail when when you're writing your your opinion piece you had your little kind of uh, agony aunt almost bit in there and so there's there's a hell of a lot of issues with with uk angling and i wondered if there is there one particular issue that you think needs tackling the most is there one thing that you're like this is something we need to address now yeah i guess i mean i think i think jack that's why i've been not content to have spent the last eight years almost exclusively in the UK, but but it's feel it's where I feel happy to spend the rest of my career in in many ways. And it's not going to be any enormous surprise to you that I I, I guess the thing that concerns me more than anything really is the appalling decline in the river populations of fish that we're seeing and. You know, I, I, it's funny with the Angler's Mail. You talked about the Angler's Mail, and in some ways, the Angler's Mail tended to drag me more into the coarse fish world, which wasn't really who I have been. Because I, I, I think if you look back over my career, I sort of fly fish as as much as I did coarse fish from the age of eight, seven or eight, and it was just very often I was dragged into the coarse fishing world. I've always loved coarse fishing. It wasn't a painful dragging at all. I hasten to add, but I, I think whether it look, whether you're looking at salmon, whether you're looking at wild brown trout, whether you're looking at roach, barbel, chub, boat dace, uh, I, I think it's a very, very bleak picture. And um, yeah, I mean the, the the whole problem absolutely exercises me. It really yeah. does. 